Yeah, there's a bit of chemistry between Maso and, Kem- and Quinny. We get on quite well. Um, and he's quite an entertaining guy to bat with. Obviously, he extremely is attacking, but in the same token, he is, he's quite smart in the way he plays this game. Um, so, I mean, it's not just reckless shots. It's quite quite calculated stroke making from his perspective. And I, it just gives. And if he gets off to a good start, then it obviously gives me time to try and build that partnership with him. Um, and if he's getting, if I get to a, to a good start, it also gives him a bit of uh, leeway to to settle in. So fortunately, it's worked out really well. No, it's. I won't say it surprised me. We all knew he was an ex- exceptionally talented player. I mean, we knew from the domestic before he came into the team. Um, but ever since he's come into the team, um, you know, he's he's showed a willingness to improve. I remember he had a, a difficult one-day series in Sri Lanka. Uh, and the next thing we know, he's scoring more hundreds and, and he's playing just as well. Uh, so he's learning all the time, but in the same token, and he's, uh, and he's scoring runs. So that's a really good thing. Of course, I mean, I, you can never, no one's ever the complete article. Well, sorry, uh, barring AB. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the rest of us, we've got to keep trying to improve. Um, uh, for me, a lot of it is, is, is what the situation needs. And that's the way I try and play my game. As I said, in today's innings, Quinny got off to a really good start. And the wicket wasn't that easy to bat, especially in the middle period. The ball was turning a bit and, and stopping. So I did have to suck it in a little bit and, and just take the ones and eat up a few dots. Um, so it, it's a learning curve, you know. But for myself, for Quinny, um, we didn't expect to play on a wicket like this. But every, every one-day series is a challenge in, in its different 